Okay, so now we're in BIT, and we're just going to run through all of the general interfacing and sort of an overview of what's going on everywhere. And there's just a preset loaded here, but that's not really important. It does sound pretty great, though, and there'll be plenty more of that later. At any rate, just running through the main sections everywhere on BIT. First up top, we have your presets and global functions. And you'll also see that up in this area, if we run over any parameters, it'll show us a readout of both that parameter name and its value. So whenever looking at parameters, it can be helpful to take a look up there if you want to see that exact readout and the full name of the parameter. Moving through, we have the two oscillators, which we can edit in all the different ways that we can see with all these parameters, which we'll get back to when we look in more detail here. Continuing, there's a play mode, the pitch LFO, and also the mod matrix, and all of these will come into play later on. Same with our filters, and then moving down to the amp section and the LFO, then into some effects in the effects section down in the corner, and finally the arpeggiator on the bottom. So a lot of this is going to seem pretty familiar in terms of everything happening, but it is all presented right in front of you, which is very nice, and the overall feel does work pretty similarly to old analog synthesizers, which is a tried and true formula for subtractive synthesis, and it just feels right. There is a bit more to BIT. If we go up and click in this area, we can go into the back panel, and that has a few more settings and just some additional info. On the right side, we do just sort of get an explanation and a few keys that we can use for interfacing. And we're basically just told that knobs work as generally any other knob would. You just turn it by clicking and dragging. Holding shift and moving a knob will fine tune so you can move it slower. And control mouse click or double clicking a parameter will reset it to its default value. So if we go and do that here, it's just turning and clicking. Holding shift will move it slower so you can get exact values. And again, you can look in the readout at the top for that exact value. And then control click and it will reset to its default value. Other info just basically says the types of buttons, and they're relatively self-explanatory. And also we can right-click on controls to see a number of different options that we can set there. We have plenty of controls in this menu. So we can do things like set different values for the parameter. Or just right-click and reset. Or any of all these quick options in the menu for different values, like minimum, maximum, default, increase, decrease, etc. And then, of course, we can just double-click to get to the default value. And you can also use this to set to different MIDI CCs or also set modulation. So right-clicking on knobs can be helpful. Also, in the back panel, we have some credits and a little bit more we can do with MIDI. We can set the channel and a few different settings, including the screen size. And you'll notice if you click something, it doesn't change anything immediately. But if we pull up a new instance, and I'm just going to clone this one for now. We'll see that this is actually that increased size, and I just went to 150. So depending on your screen size, that might be helpful if you need to see BIT a little bigger. For now, I'm just going to set it back to 100 and remove this extra instance of the plugin that I put in here, and we'll keep it at just 100% so that everything is visible. But at any rate, it's simple enough. And finally, there are a few other things down here, just the tuning. You can set different tuning types for the scale that BIT will follow, and you can just reset with that button. But really looking through all these different parameters and all of the different areas of BIT, we've seen all the different things that we're going to get to in more detail later, and we'll be able to build on this and get a firm understanding of everything that BIT can do for us. So I'll see you in the next video where we'll start digging into the oscillators.